Hello and welcome to another video. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't have a script, so this will be a more of a casual video, you know, a more casual draw with me. And I figure I could talk like, I don't know, about the drawing I'm making, which is Spider-Verse fan art. And I don't know, we'll talk about whatever comes to mind in the moment that I'm recording this. So, um, as you can see, I'm drawing Miles. I loved, absolutely loved the movie. I, I am currently studying um, animation, post-production, and you know, uh, digital 3D stuff. And not gonna lie, that sucked all the creativity away. And I, I mean, I arrived to a point in which I couldn't draw for myself because the burnout was so strong and I just didn't have any ideas on what to draw, I didn't have any motivation on what to do, I couldn't pick up my sketchbook because I, I, I just didn't have any motivation left and I feel like watching this movie reminded me why I wanna draw again, you know? It was so beautiful, like every single second of that movie was an entire masterpiece and uh, I don't know, it made me feel very passionate about animation again as a medium to tell stories. And please excuse the dogs that are barking. And yeah, I I just wanted to draw some fan art because it's a movie that meant a lot to me to watch. And yeah, I really, really liked it. So as you can see, I am just drawing Miles and writing some of the lyrics from Hummingbird on the background because it was my favorite song from the entire uh, movie. I just, I don't know, it has such a nice vibe to it, it's so peaceful and I really like listening to it when I'm like on a car ride and just bored and I don't know what to do. I just put <laughs> Hummingbird on and it immediately like calms me down. And on the background, I decided to do this kind of like splash of watercolors because sometimes I find that a completely white background on a sketchbook can be a little bit intimidating. And I've been watching a lot of this um, art YouTuber called uh, Sophie McPike. I really recommend her channel. It's my favorite art channel ever. And she does this thing where she just goes over the entire canvas with um, either gouache or watercolor, but the, f the point of it all is just like covering it in color before you do the actual painting. And I think it's absolutely genius because I really love the, the colors like picking through, you know, the background colors picking through the main painting. And I love that it takes away all of the pressure of drawing on a white canvas or a white sketchbook, you know. So that's what I did and after that I did the sketch on top and I did the line art and right now on screen I'm coloring a sunflower with uh, watercolors, just straight up watercolors. Um, another thing that I really love to do on my sketchbook is like adding a little bit of a collage element by pasting um, washi tape or little croppings of other random papers I have lying around so you can see in this page that there's going to be washi tape and like this little uh, grid paper that I had from college that I just cut into little pieces and pasted on top of the page. I just think it adds a little bit more of visual interest and I, I really like it. I, I like it when sketchbook pages look all messy and colorful and have a lot of st stuff pasted on top and that's what I did uh, with this page. Um, another thing that has been going on with my artistic journey is that I have been having the good old imposter syndrome and the good old art style crisis like quite constantly. And I just look at my art and I feel like it's not good enough, like it's not pretty enough and all these, you know, not really nice thoughts about it. And that also I think has 
been keeping me away from my sketchbook a lot because I'm scared of drawing and and I'm afraid of that drawing turning it out not so pretty or not good enough. You know, a lot of um, fears that many artists can relate to, I think. Um, and and I like I, I talk about this with my art friends and they tell me no but your art is pretty but I know that you're gonna tell me that I don't think my art is pretty anyway you know and I wish I didn't felt that way I wish I loved my art but I, I'm working on it <laughs> I'm working on it but it's a hard process to go through and it's gonna take time for people who don't like their art style I think to eventually like it or learn to see things that they do appreciate of their art style. Lately I have come to the realization that I do like a lot like using color in general. I love color so much and I love big bright saturated colors and I'm trying to see that as part of my art style instead of a specific way of drawing something you know what other things make up my art style you know it's not just the way I draw something I hope it's understandable and that actually has been helping me a lot so right now on the screen you are probably seeing that I took um, like um, what's this thing called a marker a light blue marker and i i regret that so much i should have left um the page as it was with the yellow washes of paint instead of adding the blue because that's the point where i absolutely ruined that entire part of the drawing and i didn't like it so there's i think there's going to be a cut in a little bit where i just don't film or record anything that I was doing because I was having a bit of a crisis on, you know, just thinking what have I done, I ruined this spread, and I am supposed to make this into a video, this looks ugly, so I just turned out the, the screen and do that cut that you just saw, you know, from me working on the full body miles to me working on the portrait of miles, because um, off screen I just went over the entire thing with uh, black ink and decided to redraw the some flowers and and the lyrics uh, with um, a white pen on top of the black ink and it kind of salvaged the entire thing. I still liked it better without. Uh, the black ink and without uh, the light blue marker on top and I wish I hadn't done any of those things but what's done is done, we have to move on, not everything you have to do has to be perfect and I need to learn to accept that because I'm, I'm very much a perfectionist so stuff like that like really takes a hit on me and yeah. I just need to accept that a sketchbook is a place where I can make mistakes and that's fine and that is okay and I don't need to freak out about it. So right now I was shading um, Miles' hair. I really really love how the shading ended up looking on his hair. I think it added so much beautiful texture and I think it looks really pretty and yeah. That's the finished look of the entire page. As you can see, I added the black ink and then the white on top for details and drawings of plants and stars and the lyrics of a hummingbird. And yeah, that, that was it. It looks very like collage e, which I like. Um, it's not the best. Not it's not the best spread, but it's not the worst one either. And I ended up liking it, so I hope you like this too. Bye bye.